They keep this closed all the time. I guess they're still sorting through the rubble, looking for contraband.
So I heard someone. Anyone there? There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in a tube. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left. I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid. Swift. This is Evensong. It works on goats. Well, then it should work on the Azadi too, eh? One more ale on the house, da? Ah, what a lovely head. This one smells different. Malty, sweet. It's almost like the sugar ale from Southern as a day. Now, this is a brew, Vic. It tastes like home, this does. It brings tears to my eyes. It's simply spect... Really? How's that? Well, they're there for the, uh... Well, the betterment of humankind, aren't they? What does that even mean? Well, life's a series of tubes. Don't take too long out there. If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions and I won't have any good answers. It won't budge. It needs a special tool to open. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, 
too fast to grab. A tool for opening the maintenance hatches in the pipes. They keep this closed all the time. I guess they're still sorting through the rubble, looking for contraband. Who's there? Anyone there? I envy those who can shut their doors at night and find peace inside. But that's why we fight, so that they can shut their doors and forget. I believe there are still magicals hiding out in there, but it's not safe in the ruins of Old Town. I'll need to return this before the mechanic wakes. If I don't, he'll raise the shadow itself to get it back. Thank you. 
Who's there? On, I know Bip's been tearing down these bills, but National Front supporters keep replacing them. There appear to be a lot of them skulking in the shadows. It's a pipe section, an elbow, I believe. This is what's called an arm in the parlance of the metal artisans. It's a pipe section. An elbow. This is what's called an arm in the parlance of the metal artisans. I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid and it's swift. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. A metal ball? That's what's flying through these pipes? Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads, hopefully to some answers. Pumpkin, an odd vegetable, native to the Northlands. We have apparently the reapings, the right time for pumpkins, and they're an important part of the celebrations. Goddess knows why, they're hideous things. I need to find a way into that building tonight. The pipe carrying the metal orb leads into that building. I knew it was important. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. This is what's called an arm in the parlance of the metal artisans. This is what's called an arm in the parlance of the metal artisans.
This is what's called an arm in the parlance of the metal artisans. I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid and it's swift. There's no space for two pipe segments. I'll have to pull it out first. That didn't accomplish anything. Whatever's in there just bounces off the pipe. There's no space for two pipe segments. I'll have to pull it out first. There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in it. It's a pipe section, an elbow, I believe it's called, in the parlance of metal artisans. It's a pipe section, an elbow, I believe it's called, in the parlance of metal artisans. Looks empty. There's a strong current of air flowing through it. These orbs rattle through the pipes like bullets through barrels. The gale's blowing from right to left. Looks empty. There's a strong current of air flowing through it. This is what's... No, I'll need to think of something else. There's no space for two pipe segments. I'll have to pull it out first. No, I'll need to think of something else. They're having a conversation. I might be able to listen in. Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what are they call them ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. 
That doesn't sound good. Light, what a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, guess so. Stacks of hay to represent the harvest festival, a pumpkin, an odd vegetable, native to the Northlands. We have nothing like it in Azadir. Goat eats leaves, goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait, I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? They can't be wild goats, not in the middle of Mercuria. But who owns them? The city? Maybe this is how they keep the grass in the green trimmed. It's just blocking the tube now. This wasn't a great idea. Go on now, nothing to see here. Martial law permits me to use my sword against you, just so you know. A single bob won't hurt. I'm sure no one's watching. Ah, this brings me back. Although without the nettles, something a single bob won't hurt. I'm sure no one's watching. Are those yams? No, they're only apples. Oh, in a world with yams, who needs apples? We meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats? The boy. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for. It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. This reminds me of the story of the Teheran rat catcher. He too failed to grab the rats with his bare hands. Unfortunately, I don't remember how his story ended. 
probably not well. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? I'm sure the Magicals would appreciate all your hard work running after rats. I know I do. He never listens. He's risking his I life being out in the open like this. More exciting than this. But what can I do? I mean, rats. I was the same really? at his age. Even song, a herb that makes the wakeful sleep. No. I'll need to be clever about this. Oh, so close! Well, mm, not really. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. Ah, they're too quick. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Oh, so close! Well, mm, not really. This reminds me of the story of the Teheran rat catcher. He too failed to grab the rats with his bare hands. Unfortunately, I don't remember how his story ended. Probably not well. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? I picked this Evensong in the city green. It might help with our Azadi mechanic. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. So close. Well, mm, not really. No, I'll need to be clever about this. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. There's some cheese left, but that's all. Ah, yams. A few weeks ago, I'd never tasted yams. Now I can't get enough. I'm a budding yam aficionado.
How can you not want yams? You vermin are truly beyond all hope of redemption. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. There's food left on the table. Not really. Ah, they're too quick. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. That's going to... There's food left on the table. Bip's been a great help. I'm not entirely comfortable with him long. working for the Resistance, but he'll bored. get in trouble regardless. He might as well get in trouble helping us. These delicious things must hail from the western slopes of the first mountain. Who knew a thing that grows in the earth could taste so heavenly? Here's some particularly potent cheese, filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. Is it breathing? I don't know. And I don't care. It's a rat, and it's not moving. You got it! I really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me, or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight... Fleas, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. Shadow, what was that noise? What's going on? Light, not this again. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. I was right. And there's no one around to tell. Shadow. A missed opportunity for a proper righteous gloat.
Here's some particularly potent cheese. Filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. A comatose ground crawler. Just what I need. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it. So yeah, it's on us. <sighs> Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. Um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Oh, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, you're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn? What? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. Lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known. You know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... You, you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers. Complex equations. I, we, uh, my team, we give the engine instructions about 
how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. Y you can't be here. You're a fugitive, and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right, bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do, its core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers, big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword... Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains, the spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now, this allows us to write ever more complex messages, until finally, we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one, we send to the tower. Why? Because because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the pipe network, the engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres, not to ask questions. And, and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower, and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta... Do you mean magic? 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 Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. 
When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the... on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, ideas, stories, dreams. Magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are... Are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. Uh, this is true, yes, but only temporarily. Th this is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. Uh, they said they were- they, they promised they'd be safe, and happy, and... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> there are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all Magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. No. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the Magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... And... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Mia. I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer. What's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. Fadaus. I'm f for Dows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I've no idea what you're talking about. Go, for Dows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. Were you doing the work of the goddess when you murdered the warden of Friar's Keep? He was a monster. He deserved death. That may be, but he still deserved a trial. You're not judge and executioner, Kian. Not anymore. I should have realized the taking of Old Town was too easy. It was a distraction, designed to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine. You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vermont, not to fight our people, not to fight you. Sister Sire is the emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer.
They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and- You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the mother, it would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermon about the camps, and what they're doing to- You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, you idiot! Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this. Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now!